Hi, welcome to my third tutorial. My name is Martin. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to be converting octal to decimal and back again. If you watched any of my previous tutorials, you'll probably be pretty familiar with what we're getting ready to do here. Um, okay, an octal number system is a base 8 number system. Um, decimal is the one we're all familiar with, is a base 10 number system. Uh, these both are weighted number systems. Okay, and what that means is in a weighted number system, um, you have a ones place, and a, and a tens place, a hundreds place, a thousands place, and so on. Each position carries its own weight with it. Well, in base eight number system, instead of having one, ten, a hundred, you have one, eight, sixty four, and five, twelve. These are powers of eight. If you're not familiar with powers, that's okay. Um, you just basically it's this. It's very simple. It's 1, 8, and then 8 times 8 is 64, and 64 times 8 is 512, and 512 times 8, and so on. That's how you do it. And as many digits that you have in your octal number is to, will determine how high you have to go with each, uh, each position, each weight. So in this one we only have 4, which is still a good size number. Um, how we convert it is really easy. Right here we have 7, 5, 3, 1, and octal. Down beneath it we have our weights. What we do is we go start over here at 7, and we'll go 7 times 512. Multiply uh, the octal number by its positional weight. So 7 times 512, and then 5 would be multiplied by 64, and 3 would be multiplied by 8, and 1 would be multiplied by 1. As you can see, when we bring it over here, we have 3,584, 320, 24, and 1. When you add those numbers all together, you come up with 3,929 base 10. That is the equivalent to 7,531 in octal. Um, just in case that wasn't clear, let's go ahead and do another one. Uh, 1,420 base 8, notice the notation, equals 784 in base 10. Um, Come down here, 1,420, base 8. Um, we start at 1, 1 times 512 equals 512. 4 multiplied by 64, 256. 2 multiplied by 8, 16. And 0 multiplied by 1. Generally, I wouldn't put that even write that down, but for the sake of learning, I wrote it here. Um, so we have 0. We add 512, 256, 16 to get a sum of 784. 784 is the decimal equivalent to 1420 in octal. And that's it. And that's how you convert an octal number to decimal. Um, now let's go ahead and try to convert it back. Here we go. Let me get this a little bigger. Converting a decimal number to octal. Um, 3,929 in decimal is the equivalent to 7,531 in octal. Um, what you would do is you take your decimal number and you begin dividing it by the base of the number system that you want to convert it to. So if you were going to convert to binary, you would divide it by 2. It's a base 2 number system. If you wanted to convert to hexadecimal, you would divide it by 16, which is a uh, base 16 number system. So in octal, base 8, we're going to divide it by 8. So 3,929 divided by 8 produces a result of 491 with a remainder of 1. Now we go to the next number, 491, the result, and we divide that by 8. And we continue dividing by 8 until we get down to zero. There's nothing left. Eight doesn't go into seven, so you have zero and you have a remainder of seven. Once you've finished dividing, you've come down, it can no longer go into that number, can no, longer, no longer is divisible. Um, then you start at the bottom and you work your way up. Seven, five, three, and one. And you come up and you work your way from uh, left to right. Seven, five, three, and one. That's all you have to do to convert a decimal number to octal. Let me go ahead and go through the second problem for you, just in case you didn't catch something. Um, 784 in decimal 
equals 1420 octal. You take 74 divide 784 and divide it by 8. Get your remainder of 0 and 98. 98 you divide it by 8, remainder of 2. Uh, then you have 12. You divide that by 8. You have a remainder of 4. And then we're left with 1, which you can't even divide by 8. So I didn't put the 0 here, but you get the idea. Um, and you have a remainder of 1. You have 1, 4, 2, and 0. Now, I should have mentioned this before. Um, if you notice the upside down division symbols and you're going, you know, what is this? Well, that's short division, and you can use long division, and it produces the same results. So it really doesn't matter. Just do whatever is comfortable to you. Um, so that's it. And uh, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to convert hexadecimal numbers uh, to binary, octal to binary, and back again. Also, I'm going to be covering shortcut methods for converting hexadecimal to decimal and um, octal, to, uh, oh, octal to decimal. Um, by using binary. So if you don't have a calculator, you know, you might want to just do it on paper. Converting your hex number to binary is very simple. The same with octal is very simple. And then having such a simple number system like binary to work with makes it easier for you to actually produce your decimal results. Um, so look forward to that in my next video. And until then, take care.